Uh, when we look at policies like the CDP policy, the cashless debit card, which entrenches First Nation people in poverty in this country, then of course we're not going to see the outcomes that we want to see in health, in education, in housing, in life expectancy. I call on the Morrison government to connect this, these very important policies. It's been five years when Tony Abbott uh, got rid of $500 million uh, to the Aboriginal Affairs budget in this country, and we have seen year after year a breaking down even further uh, into poverty, into uh, disadvantage for First Nations people. And the coalition government has to see this connection. There's also a connection between calling for a voice to the federal parliament calling for a voice to be in the constitution. All of these things are connected to closing the gap and improving the lives of First Nations people. And I call on the federal government, I call on Ken Wyatt as the Minister for First Nations people in this country to be serious about this job, to be very serious. Uh, there is no doubt, no doubt that there is sincerity in terms of Ken Wyatt's push uh, to see a better way of life for people, but it's not happening. And the reason why it's not happening is because of the chaos and the dysfunction in the coalition party, the fact that the nationals can go away and worry about themselves and not care about the people of the land and the country, and the fact that they're so obsessed with their own concerns when there are people in desperate need, not just First Nations people, but people who are recovering from the bushfires who are wanting to know what their future is. That dysfunction is being carried out in what we saw uh, take place in the coalition party room yesterday when senators uh, opposed a move of any move for a referendum for First Nations people in this country, and that's an absolute disgrace. It is an absolute disgrace. And I call on those senators to stand up in the Senate today and have that debate, and they know who they are. Thank you. Um, Scott Morrison saying that there's a problem with the language in the report, that it focuses on failure. Do you think that's passing the buck? Absolutely passing the buck. Uh, Scott Morrison, when was the last time you went to a First Nations community and actually sat down with the people and listened to the concerns that they have, not just about health and education, but also housing? We've heard the head of NACHO, uh, Pat Turner, come out and talk about the $6 billion gap in Indigenous housing. And Pat Turner is on the COAG uh, as, as a leader of the peak Indigenous organisations. So you need to do more than say that uh, it's someone else's problem, Prime Minister.